built around Symmetris. Um, it almost has the same length as Mercy's healing beam, but it's um, a little shorter. Uh, with it, she's able to. It's called her body beam. With it, she's able to steal health um, from enemies and uh, heal herself at the same time and deal damage. Which is what I mean by steal health. Um, with her dashing ability, she's able to uh, escape uh, moments of danger and kind of get in a place where she can get back to healing or dealing damage again. Um, one other thing about her is that she. If you know, if you use her correctly, you can uh, maximize your damage or maximize healing. If you shoot it straight at the ground, it bounces up and down in a room that has a roof. It should bounce straight up and down if the roof is not uh, rigid like this is. If it's a solid roof, roof, you should be able to use it in order to in order to put this and hold a solid roof. That's that's strange. Um, it's gonna be awkward. So let's see. We we'll have to use a wall, for example. All right. So I shoot across the wall, and it'll bounce in a straight path, not going up or not going down. So the way this her um, skill works, it disappears the moment the cooldown is finished. So let's try it on him. Because this is a Genji, and basically I'm Symmetra <laughs> with this beam I'm using. I'm able to like maximize my damage. Without having to worry about getting hit too often. Is my will. Knowing how to use her orbs is key to survival with her. Um, and key to dealing damage. She used scatter arrows, so that got me from behind. Gosh, this is a little awkward, this place. Because I can't uh, maximize my teaching ability with it. There's ridges on the ceiling. So, that is um, an example of how potent and how important her um, ability is, or how uh, sensitive her orb ability is. It can be affected by the riches in the ceiling. So look out for that. But if you find a map that has um, ceilings that are smooth like these walls are, you'll be able to um, rebound your uh, orb infinitely in the same exact spot. So if you need to hold a place, you can hold it. Literally hold it. And use your orb to your advantage. You don't have to uh, go inside a room. It's dangerous to kill an enemy. You can just let your orb do it. And it'll collect excess damage if it rebounds off and goes to a different place. Good job for me, so that's so uh, oh, he got me. Dang. Thank you for joining the stream. Um, okay, so we'll continue here. It does not slow them down, however. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. And another trick with uh, Moira is that if you, um... After you use her uh, her dash technique, if you jump, you get more distance so with the speed that she's been given from the boost. She My will made real. And the thing about her orbs is that they do not disappear unless they have either consumed all the damage they can possibly do, or if the cooldown is finished. This is my will. Another good thing about her is that because her um. Her biotic grasp deals uh, like consecutive damage over time. If you get close enough to melee, you can uh, finish your enemy off before they get a chance to finish <laughs> Oh! This trap got me. I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say. That would be awkward. There was a okay. flaw in my opinion. So now, um, my will made real. Use that uh, teleporting dashing ability to your advantage as much as possible. The moment it's able to be queued up and you're in a tight situation, use it to escape. Um. And uh, do not, because you do not need to, 
uh, when you use your orb to heal yourself, do not throw it at an angle at the ground. Just throw it straight ahead of you. Because if you need to be healed, it will heal you. Like, watch this. I don't even throw it at the ground because I need to be healed. So it'll slow down beneficially enough in order to heal you. Just like how her, um, her attack orb slow down to do damage. Hey buddy, how are you doing? My will made real. Enemy needs four kills to win. He was close enough to get slapped, so he got slapped. That'll minimize uh, having to worry about outdoing your enemy in damage. This will restore you. See how it's going up and down? Like that? That's what you want. So you don't have to worry about moving from a specific spot. You can literally stand there and attack with your own. your body glove or grasp, and you will not have to worry about taking damage. There's another mortar. Do not be afraid to get behind her and attack her again. Got her. Cause I'm not gonna waste time. Because that damage is sudden. It's uh, not sudden. It's exact damage. It's not uh, like six points, or it's not like uh, seven points every second. It's uh, you know, like thirty points. So you don't have to worry about waiting your enemy out. Facing another Moira. Got him. Oh, hey guys, how y'all doing? This will heal you. Get over here. Surrender to my will. With this, sadly, I cannot uh melee because I'm losing right now. Calm yourself. This will restore you. Hurry up. I she's smart to absorb it, but she doesn't get so. If you're facing a sol soldier, what you want to do is throw out your damage orb and attack him while you're healing yourself as in attacking him and healing yourself. Um, facing a diva, you probably want to throw down your healing orb so you don't have to worry about uh, taking too much damage. Ah, he got me. <laughs> Alright guys, but that ends my um review for Mora. Um, just make sure you throw those orbs if you're in a tight room or in a tight space. Throw it directly at the ground or throw it directly at the ceiling. If the ceiling has ridges, throw it at a place that has like um, a piece of wood that sticks out or protrudes out. You gotta be specific. I know it's hard to do in a clutch situation, but if you can pull it off, you don't have to worry about moving your Moira character at all. You just stand there, heal with your orb, and heal by stealing them, stealing health. Um, and you cannot damage a Torbjorn turret. Be very careful when fighting a Torbjorn. Your beam will not touch it because it's not organic. It's inorganic, so you can't deal damage to it. Her biotic grasp is in order to steal health or steal life force from people. You can't steal life force from a turret. So that's your one weakness and a Symmetra because you can't out damage them. Their damage uh, vector climbs. Yours just stays normal. You heal, but if you're not throwing down a healing orb at the same time, you're just taking damage. And um, she's going to outdo you every time. Uh, and same goes for Maze. Be very careful because they can freeze you um, with their beam. Um, and as always, guys, gaming should be fun.